Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I'm just counting. <laughs> I've got to count the number of stitches where I start the next rows, but I'm on a... I, I, oh, I better check how many rows I've done, make sure I'm on the right row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, I am. I have to count the number of stitches where I have to start the... Um, the rosebud because I'm under the row where I'm doing the rosebud and it's knit five and then do the rosebud. So that's how far I've got with um, Angela's cardigan at the moment. I was at my granddaughter's um, yesterday. Took it with me, my knitting with me. Um, I did get a little bit done. I was sitting in the garden, I was watching the um, the kids playing with the, um, they've got one of those shell things, you know, it's in two parts. You have water in one side and had sand in the other and just sitting watching the, them while uh, was Craig was actually doing the um, the dinner. And Cheryl coming out and sitting talking to me uh, while I was sitting out in the, um, the garden and so I did a little bit but it was really warm and my hands were getting sweaty and I had to give it up because I couldn't really knit my hands were too um, sweaty and it was making the stitches tight on the um, the needles well that spoils your tension when you things like that so I had to give it up and put it back in my bag but I got one a few rows done then I got home would have been around about 6.30 I think uh, so I did a little bit One, two, three, four, five. I did a little bit um, later on. I was sitting watching the um, the television, but I've got a uh, I've done just been doing a little bit. It's um, nearly half past ten in the morning here, and I'm going to nip up to um, Poundland later on because I want one or two things. Uh, I need some uh, lacquer for my hair because. My hair's terrible. As you get older, your hair gets thinner. Well, mine's got thinner. As you can see, there's hardly any, you can see my scalp, there's hardly any fringe left. I used to have a thick fringe across the front. There's just hardly any hair left uh, there now, but it gets thinner and it gets fluffy. And the least little bit of wind when I go outside, it just blows it all over and it just looks a complete mess. So I need some lacquer to keep, just to keep it in place. And I've run out, I've used the last. And I like, like to go to Poundland for things like that, because, well, you see, they get for a pound, don't you? Most things for a pound. There's one or two other things I want um, as well. So I'll be having a look up there a little bit later on, but, uh, I was just sitting down, you know, after breakfast and I tidied up a little bit and I thought I'd sit and do a little bit of knitting. Oh, and I kind of do that row while I'm talking because I've got to count in between the um, the rosebuds and <laughs> I make mistakes. It's okay if it's just knitting straight up without having to, to think about even some of their patterns, you know. I sort of know the stitches, knit one, purl one or knit two, purl one and something like that. I can sit and do that without looking at it. But this is counting. I've got to count. I've had to do five stitches at the start. And then there's knit two together. Wool forward, knit one. Wool forward, slip one stitch. Pass one stitch. Pass a slip stitch over. And then I've got to knit seven stitches to the next rosebud. So it's a little bit too complicated for... Um, on it and not uh, taking any notice uh, but I had a good day yesterday uh, mine before I went to my granddaughter's I was intending on Saturday to cut my hedge I have a very long hedge in the back garden and a, a shorter garden <laughs> shorter one in the uh, the front garden and I left it a little bit late. It was a dull, miserable day, all day Saturday. But I thought, well, you know, it's dry. So I went into my outhouse and I dragged out the um, 
for the extension lead and then I got the um the hedge groom thing out and pulled it through. I thought I'll start with the front one. Just got in the front garden and the heavens just opened from out of nowhere. I had to rush back in again, put everything back in again. So that was it because everything was wet. It didn't last very long, but it was heavy when it came down. So the hedge was all wet and so I couldn't do that then. So it was a lovely morning on Saturday, on Sunday morning. So I thought I'm going to get that hedge and that. The front one wasn't too bad. The front one was only a little bit like that, but the back one was, you know, like this. I had to go around with a um, little clipper thing and clip some of the long ones off because it's um, what I use when I cut my hedge is uh, it's called a um, hedge. It's a groom and it's like a lawnmower and you just put it over the top and just like a lawn you go backwards and forwards on it. But if you've got long stalks and stems and that you've got to keep lifting it up and bringing it down so I had to snip some of the long, the longer ones off first to make it easier to go across. So, it only took me about an hour and a half to do the two, um, the front one and the um, the back one. So I got it all finished before I went down my, my granddaughter. So at least my hedges will be okay. I'll probably not have to touch it again for a couple of weeks. But my lawn needs cutting. I need a lot of other things done in the um, the garden. So I'm going to have to get out and do, um, do them. But it's another rainy day today and we're going to have rain. According to my phone, I'm going to have a check and see what it says. Well, it's not quite as bad as it said yesterday, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see there the little black things there, that's rain today. It's on the next day. That's tomorrow. See all those little black things again? That's rain all day tomorrow. Rain again on Wednesday. Oh, getting sunshine on Thursday. 18 degrees, well that's not bad, should be nice and warm. Friday as well, that's 18 degrees, a little bit sunshine and a bit cloudy as well. So that's as far as mine, it's, it only goes up to the Friday on my uh, phone, so. It's okay. And another thing, this is something I'm going to show you. Um, I've got these knitting needles from uh, AB. I thought it was um, Darlene on um, Discovery Knitting. She put this um, video up and she had got these knitting needles that um, she said they were English knitting needles. and. I don't remember where she said she actually got them, whether it was AB or Amazon. I think it was Amazon. But anyway, I looked on AB and I thought, oh, I could do with it. Really? Another set. There are one or two pairs of needles I haven't got. The, um, some of the larger ones, I think it was like a 7 millimeter and a 7.5 millimeter. And some of my other needles, you know, on the, um, the points points on the end some of them are I mean they're over 60 years old some of my needles and oh the points are getting a little bit blunt and I thought oh I could do with a set of needles and what Darlene said hers cost her they were only um I don't know I can't remember what she said about 14 dollars or something like that I thought well there's not much difference between the English dollar and the pound so there'll probably not be much difference in the um the price so anyway, I looked, I looked on eBay first and I seen these ones and these were the ones that Darlene had got. So I thought, oh, that's it. That's, I'll get them from there. And they were only £14 something and there's 11 sets of needles. And you get 
These are sewing needles with blunt ends, so they're for sewing knitting. And there's quite a few different size needles in there. And you can see them there. There's quite a few different size needles in the, uh, the thing. That was quite good. Your tape measure. Which I might need. I've only got about half a dozen tape measures, but <laughs> you never know what might happen to those ones. It's getting dark in my living room. It's going to pour. It's a bit late to get my ring light out, and so so you're going to have to put up with the, um, <laughs> the light. And then there was also a little packet of um, these um, stitch markers, and I have got some. You know, ones like this that I, I got. Well, these ones here, you have to pull them out to put them into something. And I've noticed, I've actually broke one or two of them, pulling them out a little bit. But I've noticed with these ones, they are, there's a big gap. You can see there is a gap there. I don't have to pull these ones out, so they're quite better. And then the needles. I thought, great, oh, I've got 11 new pairs of needles. Only, I never read the small print when I got them. My own fault. The short needles, 25 centimetres. I wanted the 35 ones, the same as what Darlene had got. But apparently the AB, they didn't actually say it on the... Um, on the notice, you know, the, the little print of what size the needles were, they just said they were um, the size, how they went from two millimeter to eight millimeter and and they were uh, metal, which are all metal. So I've got 11 pairs of small needles. Well, they'll come in for my um, tutorials because that's where I use the smaller ones for the tutorials. I have got one or two pairs, but I haven't got the whole lot, so I've got all these 11 pairs, different sizes. I've got one upside down, the needles come out. Oh no, it's not, I haven't got it in the case, man. Oh, that's where I use, I did a tutorial earl earlier on in my other channel, my Sheila's Just Knitting channel, and I use them. They're very light as well, which is what I do like about them. They're I think they're hollow. I can't say for sure. But I think they're like a pipe type of thing. They're hollow. And they are very light. You can hardly, there's no weight at all on them. When I think of these ones and pick up my other ones, well, that's a difference in the size. That's the size I usually knit for, for sweaters and that. I could knit little baby cardigans and things, you know, little small things um, on them. But these are quite, they're not heavy, but there's a big difference in the weight. These are very light. So they'll be better to use actually. Like, so I might still look on, um, AB only had these ones. It didn't have the, the 35 centimetre ones. So I think I'll look on Amazon. I'll probably get the larger ones off there but I do like these ones so at least thank you for that information that you put on your video Darlene it's come in they come in very handy and you know what <laughs> there's something else about these when I first ordered them you know I, I, know, I always check if I order anything to check that it's not coming from um, Europe because I think we have to pay a lot more to get them well, we did do. I don't know whether you still do, but I normally check, and I didn't with these ones. And it was after I'd ordered them and paid for them, uh, I looked on the um, the site to see where they were coming from. And you know, they're coming from a shop about 15 minutes away from where I live. I could have walked there, I could have went in my car and bought them. <laughs> Place in Whitley Bay. That's where they've come from. Oh, never mind. I might have a look, maybe see, find the, the shop myself and go and have a look and see. Uh, I did look online on the um, the actual shop that sold them and they weren't just 
they weren't just these they had all sorts of everything so it's not just a, um the shop for buying knitting needles and things like that right so you live and learn read the small print before but like I'm saying, they do, they'll come in handy for like making the little cordings because I do have a lot of things sometimes. I've got some knitting in my bag at the moment that's on 4.5 needles and I've only got one pair of 4.5 needles and I wanted 4.5 for something else. So I had to take it off that knitting onto another needle to use them and then put them back again onto that needle for the um, to knit. So... I could do with more than one pair. I have uh, more than one pair of like four millimetres and other, some other ones that I use more often, but most of the other ones I've only got one pair of, so I could do with an extra pair. Anyway, that's my little bit for today. I'm going to nip up to Poundland now and get one or two things that I need and hope the heavens don't open while I'm out in my car, because getting out of the car, oh, Remind me, I'm going to put my umbrella in the car. So, the thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope it's not too dark on this video because I, I would have had to get up in the middle of it and go and put my ring light on for the, um, the light. It's terrible at the moment. It's really dark. Oh, yes, the heavens have opened. It's absolutely pouring. Bye for now.